for any beam subjected to a collection of different types of external loads, we can perform a really tiny cut along the beam. If we are drawing all the reaction loads at both ends, we would have a moment at the left and a moment plus a small change in moment on the right, of course in the opposite direction. The same would be true for V. V going up on the left and V plus delta V going down on the right. We see that for a sum of forces in Y, we have the two internal shear forces and the force resulting from the distributed load, Wx times the length. This means that delta V is equal to Wx times delta X, which if the cut is really an infinitesimal cut where delta X approaches zero, dV dx is equal to Wx. This means that the slope of the shear diagram is equal to the distributed load intensity W, or what is the same, that delta V is equal to the integral of Wx dx, meaning that the change in shear is equal to the area under the curve. If we now perform a sum of moments about the cut on the right, we'd see the reaction moments, the moments caused by the reaction shear force on the left, since the one on the right causes a zero moment in that location, and the moment caused by the distributed load, wherever that distributed load is concentrated at. Solving for delta m and letting delta x approach zero once again, we see that the slope of the moment diagram is equal to the shear value, which is what we concluded from the example before. Just like with the shear and distributed loads, this can be written as the change in moment to be equal to the area under the shear diagram plot. For shear and bending moment diagram examples, as well as the other videos of the statics course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.